Jim Schultz. <laughs> Come on, don't lie, I know you do. Now, raise your hand if you would like someone or something to help you with those chores. A lot more people. I know I'd rather be outside playing football than washing the dishes. Now, today there are things being sold that help you do those chores. Things such as the Roomba. Now, raise your hand if you know what a Roomba is. Now, a Roomba is a special machine that you turn on so that it cleans your floors for you while you do whatever you need to do or want to do. Now, there's a uh, special term that applies to the Roomba, which is artificial intelligence. But first, what is artificial intelligence? Artificial <coughs> intelligence is a machine that can think and act for itself. Now, there are three different types of artificial intelligence. The first being artificial narrow intelligence, which is a type of artificial intelligence that can think and act in one action, but can only think about one action. For example, the room, it can only clean your floors. The second example is artificial general intelligence, which is a type of machine that is made to be just like a human. For example, C-3PO from Star Wars. The third type, my favorite, is artificial super intelligence, which is a type of machine that's made to be better than a human, not anything. Um, such as the type of robots that we see in iRobot or Terminator. Now, there are, I'll give you some examples of artificial intelligence today. One <coughs> being a pair of Google Glasses. Now, raise your hand if you know what Google Glasses are. Now, if you don't know, there are a special pair of glasses that you put on uh, to access the internet without needing access to a computer. Now, there were a special pair of Google glasses that were made for a simple game of ping pong. Now, what you do with these glasses is that you put them on, and what they do is that they analyze your opponent's movements so that it teaches you how to beat them every single time you play. Now, another example would be a machine that was made to have a regular conversation with a human being. Let's call this machine Sarah. So Sarah was being interviewed, and one of the questions that she was asked was what she would do to keep humans from hurting each other. And she said that she would put all humans in a human zoo to watch over them. That's pretty scary. You know, imagine driving down the highway and seeing Fort Worth Human Zoo. <laughs> Visualize this. Why am I talking about this? Well, there are actually a few people talking about this. People such as Stephen Hawking, the smartest man in the world. Elon Musk, the creator of SpaceX and Tesla. And Bill Gates, the founder of Microsoft. These three people have come together to form a pact and agreement to watch over the progress of artificial intelligence. Now, I want you to visualize something. Visualize a gun. How many of you own guns? Some people. Now, today, as we know, there's a huge controversy over guns. There's one side saying that we should restrict guns, and there's one side saying that we should stick to the Second Amendment. But there's an important aspect that we're forgetting about this argument, which is that there's two parties arguing over some inanimate object that has, they have somewhat control over. Now, imagine if that inanimate object, in this case, the gun, had a brain of its own, a mind of its own. If it could decide that they don't like either side, then they'll take matters into its own hands. This is the case with artificial intelligence. Now, you might be thinking, what now? Well, how about we talk about some ways maybe to prevent artificial intelligence from getting out of hand? One way that I have in mind is Maybe regulation. We could regulate the creation of artificial intelligence so that we know maybe where it's going, why it's being created, who's created it. Another way that I have in mind is body modification. Now, how would that work? Well, humans could integrate with machines so that we could stay ahead of the progress of artificial intelligence or at least at the same level. Now, I know it's gotten kind of scary. 
but I don't want you to go home and destroy all your rubles. <laughs> I want to leave you with one last note. I ask you all to go out and do as much <clears throat> research as possible, get as much knowledge as possible about artificial intelligence, so that in the future, we, it does not get out of hand and we build a better future, a safer future, and most importantly, cleaner carpets. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you.